Hello guys and welcome to the fifth episode of In Hindsight Summer SPL Edition. It is 2.30 a.m. I am struggling to get this done before the patch hits and these replays will be obsolete. But I just got myself a nice coke, the cola, not actual coke, um, to keep it going. But this time around we're playing Fafni and Toyi. We're gonna go against uh, Capri and turn. Again, it's it's kind of the story of the of this series. I think we started on red every single game. It's just it's the safest thing to do, even when they know you're gonna do it. They can't do much about it because they want to push the wave. Um, I'm not gonna sit down here and say what I think the best answer to it is, but yeah, we have a Hoji, we have a Fafnir, so we're pretty good to clear. I'm gonna go uh, Watcher's Gift here. I'm gonna go Lonus Mask, I'm gonna go Sunder, I'm gonna go free health pot and one multipot. Now, I actually don't see the Bologna right here at all. Uh, badly miss her out there. Don't swing my camera right here, like... S <laughs> Super rough, <laughs> I didn't see her there. I do kinda hinder the wrap around by going up here again, making sure Bologna can't go behind. Just kinda what you wanna do, honestly. Uh, we we couldn't really, but you, you can try and make sure that they don't get to the wave uh, that early, but again, that's fine to do that right with the right there as well. So, gonna give up the pearl buff right here, not a lot we can do to defend that. I am gonna get this one minion door, so that's super good. You should be missed that first minion, but we're just gonna clear out the archers. We got a red buff, we got what we came for. We're gonna look at Kepri's ready. Kepri has a hawk right here, so this is something we acknowledge pretty fast. We're like, oh shit, well. God damn it, and actually gonna go all the way around. So we think they're gonna do all things right here, but they just go straight for the red buff, uh, which is okay because they sh have a hook, so they should be able to do this like fairly fast. Uh, now, if they get to the wave right here, this is actually really good for them because now they have an advantage. But we do get both the smalls right there, so that's really good. So we're gonna go on the Synonus. Sadly, Nate jumps out right there, which kind of sucks, but. They lose a whole wave to towers, so and now this is totally not good for them. Uh, it means that they are gonna have lost more than one. I'm not gonna load my two right here, just one here, because I want us to get those. Uh, what are they called? The Oreos. Um, they're actually gonna fight us right here. They have two buffs, we have one buff. Uh, our team is gonna get the Oreos though. Trick and Prime, so. We're just gonna chill, hang out in this lane. I don't really need the heal for the two either. It's not that big of a damage boost. To it. Like getting the one and not a level is fine. Sometimes I get the two because I want the heal uh, or whatever. So it's okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and we're gonna go for our uh, back camps right here. That's something you can do. You have to wave cover the back camps. You can see Nate popping his. Uh, Health pot right there, so we're just gonna do this. He's pretty much gonna one shot this. So, yeah, again, Fafnir, super solid guard. Uh, brings a lot, especially in the Sunday meta. That is gonna be done though when we're gonna play. I think we're playing Elevate on Saturday, if I'm not wrong, and then we're playing. Is it Rival the first day after? And then like OG, and then Dick. Then we only. Wait, I'm missing someone. No, am I? Yes, I am. So, Rival, Elevate, OG, and Dick. We only have four games left, that's kinda crazy, we already played four sets, or three sets already. Um, so right here, we're just gonna chill. You see, we're a lot earlier to five than they are. Uh, they hit five of the archers, we're gonna hit five of the melees here. Um, I will at least, because I got that first minion, uh, which I actually sadly missed, but pretty good for us, so we're just gonna hang out in lane, uh, speed buff is not really a threat, so I don't really need to rotate out with that there, speed buff is super delayed, so I can kinda chill, again I just wanna get my boots, I think uh, Draco is in the same place here, he probably just wants to get the boots, he does have them, because he didn't go for the Lono's mask, kinda a bit rough for him, but yeah, we're gonna rotate over, try and get our, get that red buff, Gonna try and get it down, and they're actually gonna go ahead and invade this. Now, instead of uh, Nate Fox of the bouncer, which is super unfortunate, 
Uh, they're gonna try and seed it, but they're actually gonna go ahead and get uphill buff. This is super smart, because they have a hawk, we can't really contest it. Now, we should have killed the Kepri right here. Like, I should have stunned him, and I should have stunned him, stunned him, stunned him like right there, shun, send the stun. That's it. Guaranteed I, at that Kepri. Uh, kinda sad I didn't go for that, that would have been a super good first blood to get. Uh, instead, we get the first blood on the other side of the map. Well played, good shit. Uh, I have my boots now, so I'm just gonna wanna back, but. Again, there's a wave right here, so we just want to make sure we push up this wave. Uh, gonna push it. But I also missed kill opportunity, because that Kepri was so sketchy right there with the whole yield, with the red buff, with the sun, and with the Kepri We wouldn't have been able to kill him twice, even with the sun and us there, so... Ah, really, really sad we didn't go for that. Just more aggression is kind of what we needed. So I'm gonna rotate out towards mid right now, with all the neutral farming spawning. Uh, we're just gonna get that Oreos first right here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. Scylla is around the corner, I can try and steal this. She's gonna get one, which is kind of unfortunate. Un unfortunate? Unfortunate is what I meant. Uh, you can see the push down mid right here. We're just gonna counter push it, not too much. It's happening right here, neutral farm goes 5th of off the bad looks of it. I'm gonna look for D-Rod right here, not too much to invade. Um, Looking for Cernanus, he gets super low, uh, he should actually die right here. We gotta ask him on the Cernanus and now it's 2-0, so this is looking super good. They do have super strong card rotations uh, going in here. And right here you kinda see the power of Ravana, boom boom, Sunder. And yeah, that was just a full ability rotation and that is at the uh, direction unfortunately. Um, we do pressure out the Scylla mid though because they need to rotate people over for that. Uh, she does get out. That looks of it. No, I actually get a kill, so it's three to one right now, which is super good for us. Uh, solid lead right now. We just wanna kind of chill now, just to make sure we don't take any stupid fights, which we sadly will. Spoiler alert! I'm just chilling right here, zoning out the wave, soaking out XP. I don't really need to be anywhere. Uh, I could have been around right side on map right now, which probably wouldn't have been pretty helpful because Capri's there. I did call it out though, so that's that. Now right here on this turn on us, I should have played super business face. It is watchy, he likes playing super aggressive. Uh, Creed is gonna kill Maniac, unfortunately. He doesn't get his hold off in time, I guess. Um, get my Lonus Mask, probably one of the main reasons why I stayed as well. Uh, so I'm actually gonna super greedy farm this. Uh, this corner of the Thieves. I'm not gonna go Margaret of Vanguard either, which would have been not a good idea. Like, right here, I can back for Margaret of Vanguard. I can get like level 2, uh, level 1. Uh, Go on the Thieves and get a D-Ward, it's not bad at all, it's not a bad back, I should have backed like right there. Instead I'm gonna decide to get super greedy for my Golden Thieves. I have 150 gold of my Thieves, I just kinda wanna chill right now, let me get this ward. Like Prime Sec, sorry, damn it. Yeah. Would've been super good, cause I could have backed right there, if I would've taken that ward, could've gone for it, but... They're kinda gonna try and pull gold right here, and I do realize this. So I'm gonna try and get them off it. Just gonna jump in right there and dis disarm him. Uh, this means I'm gonna get super hard turned on. I'm gonna miss my stun, which is super bad. But this right here is a really bad play, because this ensures that, that they get the reset. Uh, they're gonna get the Scylla old reset, which means it's gonna be a super bad fight for us. Uh, now, Trick jumps in, that's kinda rough, because. Raman could kinda go ham here, he does get poked out, uh, the loner TP's in behind right here and this is just gonna be super hard for me, she has a speed buff as well, I think she stole or took their speed, I'm not sure, that means Atherax is gonna die, uh, Maniac rotates in, it's not gonna be able to find the, the Ravana, uh, not even there in the second, really unfortunate and he's gonna fall down as well. So that was gonna be uh, 0 for 4 in the exchange of the puppies. I should not have ulted right there. That meant Scylla could get a reset. I was fine. I need to ult the Scylla ult. That was super stupid what I did. I should not have done it at all. Like, I could have survived. That would have been a lot better fight. I would, would have been alive for a bit longer. Also me not hitting the stun. Uh, me jumping in there was okay. Because as you see they can't really burst me because I would have been able to get, uh, get my ult off. If they would have like blown everything on the Capri pull. I could have immune a lot of it. 
Ah, that was really rough, especially because you guys saw that I backed for full gondola Thebes and if you can get a full Thebes before Vanguard, it's honestly okay. I should still consider getting Vanguard after Thebes, which I think I will still do, but yeah. So they're gonna be around gold right now. I'm gonna try and defend that. Now we see Capri's kinda out of position. I think we should have been punishing the Capri a lot more uh, for playing so far up in this game. Get the ward in there. They do have a ward that uh, spots that out though, so. Nothing too successful there. Um, see, Capri has a full Thebes as well right now, so it's super good for him as well. Uh, he's gonna be pretty tanky. So we're just kinda chilling right now, just kinda going back and forth. Uh, it's kind of an even game, still a bit in our favor. Uh, so CERN, again, a terribly missed hammer. And this honestly means that Prime is almost gonna die right there. I'm finally gonna get a decent ult off right there. Uh, it's gonna almost be a dead turn on us. I'm gonna jump in. Do catch Ravana, Ravana in the ult there. And he's gonna end up dying. Uh, that's super low right now, so we kinda wanna pull this gold fury right here. Uh, now I should have tanked this. This was a mistake that I did not take this, but we do want to fight right here. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of the dragon form. Uh, so we should pull this gold right now. Someone backed. Like, I guess we're just gonna get the red buff instead. That's why to get. The oh, kill the Capri. Badly missed the hammer though. He gets out. Uh, gonna go on below now. Now Capri's out of this fight, so that's really good for us. But still, is still around, just constantly poking, doing damage, which is kind of super annoying. So. We're just chilling, gonna go for our own buff now though. This is pretty bad because it, it it leaves open the window for them to go to gold fury because we haven't backed right now. Still that we don't have backed either, but they're three fresh people, we don't have anyone that's fresh right now, so they can definitely force the gold fury right here, which I think they'll do as well. Uh, they realize they have a power play. <coughs> In the start it looks like they're just gonna go through the Ore for the Oreos though and they're gonna get those as well. So it's okay for us, we got a kill. Uh, what we kinda looked for there. They they spend a lot, we spend a lot, so it, it's fine in the long run. Uh, I wanna back right here, I can get soft 2 if I want, I can get soft 1 and Margaret Vanguard. It's gonna help secure neutral farm before that though. Uh, hearing that they're on the speed buff, just making sure that we're gonna stay safe here. Uh, and now I'm gonna kinda play up. I'm like, oh, be careful, be careful. Like, I'm, I'm tough near. We got the prime. Just secure that. And yep. That's fine. We get the mid cap. Not a lot we can do about that honestly. That's a good secure. And I can back right here. Uh, just wanna make sure I don't back on the wall to see how I kinda go and hide on the red buff. So it looks like I'm going towards red. Just make sure I don't back on the wall here. So I'm gonna get actually just gonna go straight to turn to two. Now I could've liked I would have liked to see maybe uh, the Vanguard but Again, rushing the auras is never a bad idea at all. Uh, we're just kind of chilling right now. Nothing's really gonna happen. Uh, there is an intended siege in mid. By looks of it here, we do spot out some rotations. Uh, turn tries to two me. I bet we had uh, eyes on it somehow. Uh, don't really see how. How is it to do this? Nah. But again, we're gonna push down mid. Uh, I could back for my second relic here. Yeah, I guess I wanna wait for my sovereignty. Uh, which is really what it looks like I'm waiting for right now. Let me go ahead and start up the... i take the probe off, sorry. Uh, go back mid. Just have a have a good time with Mr. Pretty Prime E. Um, kinda just chilling in mid. Again, not too much happening. We're gonna go for the mid camps. Nice, nice job there, just making sure we get that. Then we're all gonna back, which is a bad idea, because we we're kinda stacking our backs right there. If I would've backed, there would've been a free gold free, so I'm actually gonna catch my back, even though I had a really good back timing. Just means that I can uh, back right here. I do suspect they could be on gold right now, which they actually are. I think this means I actually get a free gold free. Uh, so that sucks. Uh, we stacked our backs, and then we didn't get to gold in time. Like, what? Alright, they didn't do gold fury. I'm completely disabled. But I got Sovereign to one, oh, sorry, one. I finished off, is what I'm trying to say right there. They should have done gold fury. That, that would have been so good for them. So good for them. That was so free. I guess they're waiting for Oreos. Um, they were, we, we have an upgraded cradle right now. Twig is going crazy. And we're just going for that speed buff. He's just gonna get it in time. That's super good for us. Uh, really rough. Losing a speed buff. 
this point in the game and now we're rotating late towards mid this means we can kind of fight right there and I think we find Capri slightly out of position and he's gonna get super poked right here he pops Phantom though I don't over over commit there with the with the Thunder uh, I just jumped towards the, the goal just making sure that Cern couldn't uh, couldn't solo it at all uh, Cern can solo goal first at this point in the game especially with the red buff that he did have We're just kind of chilling in mid, having a good time. In the left, it looks like they're kind of just having a bit of a, a slap fight. And there comes the loading angle, just looking for the cage that is not up yet. Kind of unfortunate. We're just gonna push down the minions. Uh, I think we see that Silla's backing, and I think this is gonna mean we're gonna uh, maybe go towards gold. I'm not really gonna do it. We're gonna look around here for this for the CERN. I see CERN dash right here and I'm like, oh this is a really good opportunity. Probably should have gone but Nate didn't go, so super rough to kinda commit too hard to that, but yeah. We're just chilling where we're 3k goldie right now, that's super good for us. Um we're just getting most of the neutral farm. I think we should make sure we get the orchids right here again. It's pinged out. Uh they are grouped around it right here, which is Slightly rough for us. Yeah. Gonna go on the Capri this time. There's no escape really for the Capri, and he's just gonna die. Uh, he should die twice as well. That is a dead Capri. And then we're just gonna keep fighting here. And now I should really hit that on the Scylla, first of all. It means that we get really poked. I'm gonna go on Kern right here. There's no follow up at all, which is super rough. And then it's gonna go really hard on Prime. Bad uses of Shell there, because we did Aegis that out. Get a huge Vulcan ult here by the looks of it, and Raven gets super destroyed uh, by by the stun there and the Vulcan damage. So, so Maniac is just going ham as, as ham as ever, and I'm kind of trying to play super up in their face. Uh, just juking out here. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and pull the gold free, just make sure I get my 2 on a track shot. And then I'm gonna go on zone right here, just make sure they can't really go in. Uh, and we get the gold. Super good for us. We have a 5k lead now. We just want to chill. Uh, they're gonna do portal off this. Uh, that's kind of what you see pretty much all the time. One dude team does gold, the other's gonna do portal. So we're actually gonna TP to try and defend this portal. I did have more right there, so it's gonna be a bit more rough to defend. <coughs> now, what I could do here is it could jump in. I think I can die if I do that though. Um, we are around portal here, but they're committing to it with the sail hold as well, so. It should be a super good fight for us right now that this alone is down, but they have a man advantage since they got order. And we're just gonna get the fuck out because our Thraxia is split pushing. Which means he's, he's gonna get a tower right here. I have like 2k gold, but I can't really back because FG is kinda at risk right now. They could all in FG while the Thraxia is on the other side of the the map. So I should just back now though. Uh, I'm gonna back on the world this time, which is kinda unfortunate, but. Yeah, I'm gonna go Shogun's Kasari, I would guess, get a get a D ward. Couldn't afford enough for it, so I rush towards the left D. Uh, Shogun's Kasari is really good item or nice CCR, nice food reduction, a really 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 great passive. Uh, attack speed is not bad for either Wukong Odin honestly. It's not the best but it's, it's always a nice stat to have for Yi obviously. Uh, also nice and so he doesn't have the best uh, attack speed ever. He does have a lot of attack speed in this build now, doesn't he? Just, just to troll me. Uh, so, we're kind of looking for stuff right here. Captain Trick's playing super far up in that base, which means he gets kind of punished. Uh, just making sure they can't really go in. We pop the cage as well. Kind of really unnecessary. It means we have a rough time now. Prime is playing super far up in mid. And she's eventually gonna fall down right here. It's gonna kind of swing because they can push now. Uh, we're gonna go on Capri, Thunder him. It's a dead Capri. I think he's actually gonna crit there. Cern is gonna go super high. I'm just done out the Cern. Get his beats. He's kind of playing up in the face right now. Has <laughs> spraying everyone down. Cern Aegis is for some reason. I guess that could have been a misclick. Uh, Main Echo's kind of ham. Just staying in dragon form right here to kind of scare them off. Try to go for the zone. PS that doesn't, that didn't hit. So I'm just, I don't, I'm not gonna jump until I'm gonna get out of dragon form and then I can get out. And right here, honestly, this could have been 
this is super good because Sirin has no uh, dash and we're gonna kill the Lorna as well. They're gonna chase down. Scylla gets an awkward jump. She's gonna get out though. Uh, nice hold there after two with the slow. Almost get the swag, the swag kill on him. Captain Frick goes ham. I missed the flick right there on the Raven. Which means that this Raven is not gonna get out there. Yeah, okay, he's gonna get out. I should have hit that, would have been way better. They do capriol it though, which is pretty good for us now. We can't really get anything off this, which is pretty rough, like... The, the goal lead kinda still did extend a bit, but... We can't again, we can't get too much off it, so... What did I do there? I, I sold my watch, just gift, and I started my spirit rope. I uh, probably shouldn't even have done that, I should have upgraded my relics right there. It's it's not really worth it, what I did, I'm sneakers. Watch this gift is honestly better than Cloak 1, like way better. Uh, and I could have just upgraded relics if not like we need, I need more tankiness right now. So it's definitely a thing to look out for. I think it's one of the things I need to improve on is upgrading relics a bit earlier. Uh, don't just upgrade them as like a last resort kind of thing, like when you, you bought everything. So you're gonna see it's mid right here, realizing we have a big gold advantage. Can't really siege anything else right now. Now, Scylla gets annoying here because she kind of wants just the wave. Keep one minion alive though, and we're gonna be able to almost get the tower, but they're gonna try and force a fight. I'm sp a bit poked right here, and Ravana goes super ham, which means I'm actually gonna miss the thunder. Again, just peel for the backline right here, just to make sure they can't really do a lot. We do pop the girdle right there, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, can possibly go for the tower here if you want to. They didn't use any old there, which is worth mentioning. They they did get really poked though, which is a good good thing to keep an eye on. We do get out poked right here. Scylla being able to provide so much poke uh, all the time. We're actually gonna back out right here. And they're kind of gonna force the issue uh, with the with the gold fear. Um, they're gonna pull it. And we are not really doing too much about it. We're just kind of poking. Getting poked a bit. Uh, just peeling for the Bellona right here. Now Bellona goes super deep in our backline, which obviously was a mistake. She gets the Cabriolt, and then Ravana goes super back ham in our backline, which is on the, also a mistake. Kinda too far away for the team to do anything. And then Sinus is just chunking through us right here, doing so much damage with that red buff. Uh, you realize we probably have a power play, so I'm just gonna go on the Cabri right here. Just make sure I stay safe, juke out the Silo, just barely hug that. And somehow, I survive all of that and we kill the Cappy as well. So now they kinda have a power play honestly. We are 5 to 3 but if you look at our health bars, it's not looking too, too stellar right now. They can't really do it, but we're gonna get our backs in. I'm gonna sell my Lona's Mask, get a full spirit robe and then just say fuck Waltz and just run there. Get up there fast. Again, getting Spirit Rope 2 right there, and then just getting like an upgraded Relic or Wards or whatever would again probably have been a better choice. Like upgrading the Thunder, maybe. Uh, yeah. That fight was pretty messy because we got so poked out at the mid tower. We did. Uh, gold didn't go down at all though, but kind of just postpones this brawl that is eventually going to be there. So. Oreo is obviously really super important right now because Gold Fury is up, so we just want to make sure we get both right here. Gonna stand in front of Cern, just make sure he can see that. Uh, we 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 want to group up right here. We wanna try and force the gold. I'm super tanky. I I don't die right now. If I, the only way I die if I get Capri pulled, and that should not really happen. <coughs> and then a lot then means they have to blow uh, t two summers on this old. So we're actually just gonna start up this gold and this lead. So you see how fast we do it right here. Uh, uh, we kind of go in, poke out the Bellona. Uh, probably a bit of a wrong target right there to go on the Bellona. So we're just gonna back out a bit now. Get a great full yield right here now. Just get the, the Sunder down. I'm gonna try and stun out the Capri. Just to make sure he can't get the hold off. As Rex is gonna die right here in the back line, which is super rough. Nice backfire there. Uh, missed the one on the silo of the wall. This is really rough. We are gonna chase down. Uh, the Ravana, I guess? Don't hit the jump there, which is super rough. His immunity is gonna be down now, though. That could be a possible dead Ravana. The slow doesn't connect, so that's super unfortunate. So, we're 4v5 now. That's honestly super rough for us that we, that we couldn't really do anything about that. Bad fight. Really bad fight. Oh. Hmm. I should have hit a lot more. I missed my 3 there, I missed my 1. 
Uh, peeling wise, it was really. It's it's just so rough to peel sun there. You kind of have to stand in front of uh, your team. We're just making sure that they don't really get gold for free right now. Uh, this is one of the better calls we made. We're like, okay, it's gonna be really rough to contest gold for you. So we can probably just get portal demon. It's not bad. Like, obviously, gold fury is worth a lot more, but us getting portals means we have a better uh, position towards uh, FG. I'm gonna. Not again, Mr. Thunder. Missing too many Faf Stuns in these games. It just could have been really bad if that pawn would have been stolen. Could have changed the game. So I am again not gonna upgrade my relics. I'm gonna go for uh, breastplate right here. Uh, I think I'm gonna get a hide near me and lie. And you see how much damage this certain us is doing to me. He has no life steal, so I kind of wanna punish him for that. Uh, <coughs> now I recognize Kebby wants to back right here, uh, so we probably have a timing right there. Try and juke out this seller too. Nice juke, Milzy. That's really good. Uh, just use the two over the wall right here, and then the one for the heal. Could have honestly just two myself as well, but then again, we're gonna probably see down this mid tower fairly soon, or we should at least. Uh, can see how they're just looking for a fight again, like they wanna initiate on us. So I'm just gonna tank this up a bit. Uh, Prime is gonna get the tower finally and we get what we want and now we have this classic obey like this is very very postponed but we're kind of juggling be between the mid tower and then a uh, stationary objective which is kind of what we do I guess. Uh, this situation we like the most where like all the tier ones are down and the waves are fairly pushed up but there's no split push going on and just having a good time. Not that dealing with split push is too rough at all but yeah. Get a good cage right here, I try and force the cage. Uh Sunder goes down right there. What? That wasn't even mine. Uh and then Twig is sadly gonna die right here. Uh, I I am gonna pick up the kill with the Sunna right there. Uh Kevy did miss his ult, but now Cern is super out of position, which means uh actually they're killing the loan on the other side of the map, so this is this is a bit rough. It's now first of all I missed my two there on the Wukong. And now I don't know this get completely wrecked. By, uh, by CERN. Oh, Maniac goes so ham right here. He's living life. Uh, sad I don't get that buff. That was my buff, man. Prime always stealing my buffs. Somehow. Somehow. Just making sure Nade is safe here rather than leeching anything. Uh, now, this is gonna be suicide play of the year. Going out for JLo. He's like, yo, it's a Raksha. Wanna see me? I'm playing Ramana. I can kill you. Boom! He even used the brace of Undurian. That kind of deserves a taunt. Because <laughs> that's the throw you don't want to make. Uh, Maniac is dead right now, but we're gonna have a 23 second window kind of where we can force an FG. Uh, I think Pavis would have been a lot better spot if that would not have happened. Like, they are not doing bad whatsoever. They have great late game guards right here. Total weak kind of, but. This is just gonna be super rough. Then we we instantly capitalize. I'm gonna try and do fire fire here off it. Um, main activities in that traction comes from base, and we're just baiting a fight right here. They have 20 seconds. This is so rough for them to do anything. Main kind of gets poked, but yeah, we're just staying on FG. Uh, they're kinda on the lawn in the back, and Bellona gets out. This means we get a really good fight. I think Nade is gonna be kill Bellona there no matter what. I'm just gonna peel the Cern. I know Cern is like super big right now. But this right here is a classic mistake when you ache is when you're guaranteed that. Uh, I think he's dead no matter what there. Just get in front there, make sure that no one of my carries take too much damage. And we can just go ahead and go for FG right now. Not gonna heal. I, I just wanna get the. Uh, Followed off while they're out playing themselves up there. Yeah. Just get the two off and get the other two off. Juke that out, and we can just get a pretty, pretty free FT right here. That's super good. We get FT right now. Uh, we should back here. I think we're gonna go ahead and push mid tower. This is actually a good call, even though we're low and I have like three thousand gold right here. We we rec or we realize that. They are dead for like so long, so we can just get this. So we're gonna get the tower back out. This is fine because we kind of want to push left here. We could push mid as well, but yeah. I'm gonna finish my spear roll. I'm gonna sell. Uh, wait, I'm gonna sell boots and buy. All right, so I I upgraded my shell. I sold my travel and got cooldown boots, and I finished my hide of the Indian lion.
that's what happened right there. I think Shell is better to finish Shell than Thunder, honestly, in these kind of team fights. I'd rather have an upgraded Shell than an upgraded Thunder. So we're just gonna do the gold for the sake of why not? Because if they wipe us, they can't end. They can get gold and they can get closer towards the last items. Uh, but you can see most of them are still missing that final item. So that that's just like why not? It takes us two seconds. So we're gonna do portal as well. Uh, I think people haven't backed, uh, so we're just all gonna back. I'm gonna back as well. Place my sentry ward, get another, upgrade the Sunder, and now we are Gucci to go. We're gonna go ahead and push this mid lane now. My objective here is to just make sure, like, I need to try and keep my backline alive while I just get that 2 on Prime or uh, Attraction for increased damage. I have Peel in form of my Disarm, my Stuns, and my Shell. So see how I'm kind of just playing up right here. I know that the back line is just gonna go, so our front line has an easy time surviving. They're playing Odin and Sun Wukong. Uh, <coughs> nice and easy characters to survive on. We're gonna pop the girdle. Uh, that Phoenix just insta drops, hit the Cern there. He doesn't beat and he gets super low. Now, this means Prime's gonna go for the Vulcan ult. I'm gonna get my 2 on him and boom. They both die. Surrender was started. GG, gonna end the game. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be it. A pretty iffy game, we made a lot of mistakes. This should have definitely be closed out a lot before, but. <sighs> they honestly played pretty well, Puppies, uh, not gonna lie. Uh, had that fight at the goal through, that was like super bad where I haven't backed. Mm -hmm. Kind of. If we never had that fight, I think this would have been a, a different game. Um, again, top wards, that's why we won the game. It's like every game win. I have top wards basically. Uh, yeah, hmm. not a lot to say about this game. I hope you guys enjoyed this fifth episode of In Hindsight Ranked Summer SPL Edition. It's not ranked, it's Summer SPL Edition. Leave a like, leave a subscription and press that bell next to the subscription thingy. And uh, you can leave a comment as well if you want. A nice comment, I like the nice comments man. And uh, until next time, peace out.